All right, Coach, the one question everyone wants the answer to is who's getting the first snap at quarterback? It's going to get answered here in about 30 seconds. So don't you love the suspense? I, like I mean, it. for 30 seconds, I think everybody should just wait. Okay, well, what's going to determine who gets the snaps moving forward as the game progresses? Well, we have a plan for how we're going to execute. We think both guys can be weapons in the game for us, and we're going to try to utilize them both out of respect for what they've done for us and the program here. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. A little more suspense, guys. Oh, he holds the card to the last possible second. We'll tip the hand, though, with Tungvalu out there taking the warm-ups a second ago. And we'll find out, as he said, in about 30 seconds, because Alabama won the toss, and they want the football right away. Evan O'Hara to kick it away. Josh Jacobs and Trayvon Diggs are deep for Alabama. And we'll get a look not just at the Bama offense, Kirk, but this Louisville defense that has lots of questions to answer. What a tough way to get things started. Yes. Because there may be some questions about who's going to run out there quarterback. We tend to think it's Tua, but there aren't a whole lot of questions around that quarterback position. And all the questions are on the Louisville defensive side. It's a returnable boot. Now it's going to be out of bounds, and the flag is thrown. So the mental mistake right off the bat, and the Crimson Tide will get good field position. Think of Aloha's first pass attempt. No, he spun around and dropped for a loss. Louisville's defensive front, which has got a whole bunch of new guys. But they have moved him to guard here in camp, and they're just a mental mistake. Third and 13. Ngavaloa from the pocket flips it short. This is Harris running and muscling out across the 45. They'll spot it right there for an Alabama first down. Just checks it down to his back and let Damian Harris do the work. Cardinals defense was not set at the snap, and Ngavaloa flips it short over the middle. That's the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. Bakes it. Slap. Caught. Off and running is Devontae Smith, the man who made that championship winning catch in Atlanta this looks like a run all the way for tongue of a low he's not a runner in Hertz caliber but he can certainly scoop with the football too tight end Smith motions in to has got it spins away throws to the end zone a risky throw caught for a touchdown there are some flags in late it was Judy on the receiving end he may have roughed the quarterback. You know, the other guy making his first start, Juwan Pass, who said the task was tough against this Bama defense. It just got tougher down seven. Play action. They flip it in the flat, and they've got tight end Mickey Crum wide open. A nice gain across the 35, and now a flag at the tackle there. See, see that helmet slide off to the side? All right. Yeah. Uh, to me, the crown of the helmet, by rule, is everything above the face mask. And to further review, number seven hit the receiver hit the receiver with shoulder to shoulder there is no targeting and Smith in motion to the left and a pressure off the edge downfield throw off the fingertips of Smith it was a wheel route that's a petite Petrino favorite to immediately pressured sidesteps the rush takes off it will make a first down with his feet ball comes out late it's loose no whistle headed to the end zone d smith signal touchdown cardinals but came off of it takes off on a scramble you can see still has possession of the ball still has possession and then once he hits the surface the ball comes out and that's where he hit the ball will be spotted after further review, the runner was down prior to losing the ball. And catch is made downfield. Smith again got free. Gets a first down inside the 40. Tied offense continues to be clutch on third down. That's one dimension the Tungabaloa brings, though. Success on third and long. In the pocket. This time has good protection. Now it breaks down a bit. Trying to buy time, gets free and flips it underneath. It's Smith again, the outlet man, and Devontae Smith breaks free, loses the football, and the Cardinals, it's a scrum, did he get it back? No, Louisville this time does make the takeaway. Dorian Etheridge, this first quarter has really been about third downs. Alabama has converted them, Louisville 0 for 2. Now they need 11. Pass in the pocket, high throw, incomplete. 
Tried to deliver to Tutu Atwell. Tua, meanwhile, back to work from the 45. This is Damian Harris who breaks free. Damian Harris barreling down inside the 25. First huge play from the tied run game tonight. It's a good job. Linebackers to the outside, and Alabama's going fast after the first down. And they flip it in the flat. Catch made by Jalen Waddell, and the freshman with his first career catch. Tied third down again. They need just one yard, and Harris slams for a first and goal. He's a guy that, remember, altered his diet, got rid of the junk food and the desserts. He's dropped about 10 or 15 pounds, looks very quick. Harris, by the way, wants a future in broadcasting. He'd be great. After some years in the great. NFL. Yeah. Very analytical guy. It's a run all the way. Tua makes a cut and scores untouched. Harris on the block. And the Tide quickly cash in good field position. Who designed those bemojis? It was not Graham. I was, I was, it. I was happy to see you guys. <laughs> Pass. Gets it under pressure and heaves it downfield. Incomplete. A flag comes out as Jalen Smith was being covered there by Xavier McKinney. Pass immediately pressured, flips it short, and the catch made over the middle by Dawkins. Immediate contact that's right near the first down marker at the 50. It looks even bigger than 230. Sure does. And he tries to test the middle, but the tie defensive line swarms him. Raquan Davis and the backer Christian Miller combining. They'll lose two. But guess what? It's third down again. And the Cardinals need eight to keep the drive alive. Tide bring pressure again. Pass. Rolls away. He's got a lot of room to run. And Jawan Puma pass. Scoots for a first down near the Alabama 35. Not Lamar Jackson, but he can move. Inside of the final minute of the first quarter. Pass. Pressured again. Flips it over the middle. And the catch is made. Des Fitzpatrick, another veteran in that receiving core. And they move the chains again. And has earned that right to become the coordinator. Fifth season here. Pass. Chucks it downfield. And it is intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by Deontay Thompson. will bring it out. Thompson has blockers. And now is going to be met and knocked down hard at the 25-yard line. But pass is picked. Right, thanks, Cassidy. Now we're shot by 11. Tungabaloa on a slant in traffic. Nice catch by Jerry Judy. Gets out across the 40. You know, Alabama didn't have an entire game last year against a Power 5 opponent where they completed seven passes in the first quarter. This is his first start. He's already done it. Low snap. Collects it. Looks downfield. Running free. Jalen Waddle makes the catch inside the 10. The sign of things to come for the talented tied freshman out of Houston. Finger trick grabbing the back of the football. Now Tungabalo barrels ahead, muscling toward the goal line, and knocked down just short. It is a thing of beauty to watch that lefty spin the football deep, isn't it? Trying to adjust to the different personnel groupings, and guys are making some mental errors. Three tight ends, and Robinson says, I'll find the end zone. The sophomore from Tuscaloosa, one of four talented tailbacks. They've been number one at some point in 11 straight seasons. That's also a record. Pass down three touchdowns. Now has a man wide open and Smith out of the backfield. This time he makes the catch, gets the block, and a couple of times they've gotten the running back loose in the secondary. This time they make the play. Yep, they, they snuck him out of the backfield and 27 yards. Colin Wilson replaces him at running back. Pass gets the low snap and now has a man wide open and running across there is Seth Dawkins. So this is what Saban sort of feared, says Kataya. Low snap, gets away, pass, tries to cover it, and slides down way back at the Louisville 44, and the Cardinals are going the wrong way. Nick Saban has made it abundantly clear from the meetings in Atlanta, the SEC meetings, all the way through every interview, they're both going to play. They're both going to play. They're both going to play. Eventually, Tua looks like he won the job, but there's still room for Jalen Hurst to play. Jalen Hurts throws it underneath there to Henry Ruggs, the third, and he scoots out across the 30. Need three this time. Hurts from the pocket, going to take a downfield shot. Judy sprinting, but it's not accurately thrown, yep. and a flag is down back near the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he got hit late. There's no foul in the play for Ruff, the quarterback. The hit was to the chest area. 
Day Williams to the right. Uh, Puma pass. And he fake it to him. Pass from the pocket. Flies over the middle and again has a man wide open as the Cardinals work the middle very successfully. Pass does look very well prepared considering the complexity of the Alabama defense. You see when they recruited him they looked at this game which had already been scheduled and said book it you're going to make the first start of your career. They clock down at five. Cardinals do bring pressure this time. Hurts has to get it out fast and coming back a back shoulder catch is Smith and they get the first down anyway. So you feel good for Hurts. Yeah, sure. That do. completion. Yeah, Brian Van Gorder has been bringing pressure on third down. As the Tide again face a third and ten. Three receivers to the right. It's an option. Damian Harris has it and slams strongly into Louisville territory, but it's going to be four yards short of a first down. See what they do here. Empty backfield. Pass has the ball. Batted down at the line into traffic. It's a scrum. Looks like an offensive lineman may have come down with it. Quinn and Williams. The nose guard got a big hand up. What a monster alpha he was in the playoff. And the interception yep. against Clemson made 12 tackles against Georgia in the national championship game. Waddle. Cuts back. Breaks a tackle. Still alive. And this freshman is going to be an electric returner. You'll see him making plays out of the slot position as well. Enos, former quarterback of Michigan State. He was at Arkansas for three years, working as quarterback coach with Tua and Jalen Hurts. Think of a low from the pocket, launches to the end zone, caught in stride for a touchdown by Jerry Judy. Which kind of symbolized it up by the Hawaiian Little League World Series team when they won. They, just the joy of competition and playing and the closeness together, the love that they had. Really, I think, something that's wonderful awesome. about that culture. Yeah, it's awesome. He has such a laid back personality, yet on the field, such a competitor. But the running game will remain a question mark for this team, even though it's against a very tough defense. Pass on third down, flips it again across the middle. They got a man wide open. That's Des Fitzpatrick. And. Those misdirection routes have caught Bama napping a couple times out See, across the 45. Yeah, that time Mac Wilson was in no man's land. He looked lost. When you fill in for Deron Payne, there's going to be all eyes on you. High expectations. Good start tonight and pass. Bounces off tacklers again, but he's just spinning backwards. And now he's going to be brought down by three Bama defenders inside the 30. There's another flag down. We'll see in the next couple weeks. Exactly new blood. It would be the fourth straight year in the I mean, playoffs. Well, you know, you want to throw one against the board or you want to try to think what it's going to be. Tungabaloa downfield and it's the tight end. Irv Smith throw right on the button. They're set up inside the 30. Josh Jacobs is the tailback behind Tua. Low snap, he feels it, and Jacobs breaks the tackle and scoots down near a first down at the 18. Saban equaling Paul Bryant for the sixth national championship last season. Looking very much like a contender for number seven. To the timeout, second and one, and it's Jacobs picking his way back into the clear and into the end zone. Very, very possible that all those guys, as the extra point is missed. Austin Jones, back in his hometown, the transfer from Temple. You know, it means it means a lot for me, you know, just seeing him out there. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. But you know, it means a lot for me to be out here, you know, just to support those guys, especially Juwan Pass, you know. But you know, we just got to get the guys together. That's all. He tells me that he talks to you literally every single day. Yeah. First on the scene with that performance. To Papa John Stadium against Florida State. He did. Puma pass. Tough going on third and 26. Escapes. A flag is down back in that holding zone. Yeah, he'll take that. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Defense. Number 33. 15 yard penalty. Be added on to the end of the run. First down. Three new defensive assistants. New defensive coordinator. Pass. Throws it incomplete. It was way behind Day Williams. That's a lateral. And a lot of new faces in the secondary. He's doing a lot more teaching this year. Yep. He's not, always done plenty of teaching. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, not just the players, but he's teaching the staffs. Flag way after the incomplete pass. After the play, 
on sportsmanlike conduct. Defense, number 47, 15-yard penalty. And him off the field. Yeah, twice. They'll clip it short. And once again, the catch is made by Dawkins, and he's off and running. Tight ropes down the sidelines, and the touchdown saving tackle made by Dylan Moses, but now the Cardinals are threatened to get on the board for the first time. Third and goal. All the way back at the 13. Pressure. Pass. Escapes. Flips to the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Kamari Averett, the tight end, gets the Cardinals on the board. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 11 on Louisville. That is his first of the, first of the game. You're right on it, Kirk. He spun it, and that, that cost him 15 on the kickoff. the kickoff. Both coordinators came, as you said, as analysts, then assistants, yeah. and then coordinators. It's a pretty rapid yeah. descent for both Loxley and Lipoy. Kickoff because of the penalty is deep and Josh Jacobs with a running start fields it Jacobs big momentum bouncing off people Jacobs into the secondary a convoy escapes and will take it to the house Pass heavy pressure spun down and it'll be a sack and a short loss Maria Third and 11. Iso on Saban. As pass is pressured again. And a much more inspired Alabama defense. That was big old Isaiah Bugs out of Ruston, Louisiana with the sack. Harris bounces it. He's a guy that he ran angry against Georgia because he felt like he didn't get that many touches and chances. And he used to be salty out there after the play. And... Harris in that championship game carried six times for 64 yards. Think about oh, wanted to go downfield. Now he will. It's Judy running free, broken up now. Jalen Hurts, excuse me. Hurts faked the option pitch. It's a keeper. You see his strength as a runner, but he tried to bounce it instead of heading toward that 18-yard first down marker. Didn't get there. Here's Jones, who once made 19 field goals in a row when he was at Temple. 50 in his career. Knocks one through. So a nice moment for the kicker from Orlando, and he gets congratulated by his teammates. It's past 11, my friend. Yep, there's a pass and a catch made. And running out of bounds is Fitzpatrick, and a flag is down again. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number four. Okay, let's talk through some of the guys that maybe we're not used to calling their names yet. I know Coach talks about Deontay Thompson, but who are some of the guys that you know could make an impact this season? Oh, DT, Deontay Thompson, he's definitely one of those guys. You know, he plays a lot of passion, a lot of heart. He loves the game of football. Oh, uh, I mean, a little bit, but, you know, that, that's his coach. He's always going to be hands-on no matter who's in there. Uh, you know, when Coach, coach Pruitt came in, uh, he's, he's the same thing. You know, he just wanted to see what Coach Pruitt was about. Uh, but, you know, he knows Coach Tox is going to do a great job, and yet he, he has been this, this game. Uh, so, you know, he's going to probably uh, just put, be hands-on like he is. Well, okay. time, Nico. Jalen Waddle takes off in the public turn. There's a flag down, two of them way behind the play. So the Tide's second special team touchdown tonight likely to be nullified. But, again, Number 17, electric as a returner. Nothing worse than a, than, than a push in the back, the back. that Return wasn't team, even needed. Really, the last thing he wanted to do was start off 0-1 with a loss in South Bend. Hurts makes a peek downfield and throws it. Caught by Judy, who's knocked out at the 44-yard line. When Kiffin was there in 2014, and they threw it for 278, Kirk. Would you say for the most part the last few years, the passing game has been tactical, efficient, complemented the running game. Robinson bangs ahead. You think it could be something much, much, much more than that yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's what teams are going to have to defend this year as Mike Loxley calls the plays. And Hurts with the throw to the far side. This is Waddle, the freshman, the electric returner, spun down inside the 30. Robinson somehow keeps his balance after slipping on a cut 
and make something out of nothing. There's a combination of strength, flexibility, and balance I'm, there. I'm telling you, man, this guy is a special back. Jones steps up, goes to the end zone, off the hands of the tight end Miller Forrestal. So it'll be fourth down. Who will be able to challenge them? Who'll be able to go toe to toe with the tide? Okay, name some teams. Take this name, up. Go down the list. We'll do that. We'll visit their schedule when we come back as this one slides outside the upright. So Austin Jones misses it. Got in the ear of Tungabaloa, the holder. Blew up Thomas Fletcher, the, the snapper on the field goal, and oh. the special teams coach. Way to Pass go after over the middle, and it's an easy interception. Thrown up and picked up by Shaheem Carter, who's got a convoy, and he just might score. Yep, the defense gets in the end zone. How about his reaction? All right, dude. All right, go for one. So you put uh, tennis to the side and get back to college football full time. Big championship weekend. Oh, I can't wait. This is a great week for me with U.S. Open. I'm dialed in. Hassan Hall takes it back and gets to the sideline. Uh oh. Hall is loose. Hurdles over the kicker and gets down inside the 40. Everybody wants to know what Alabama is about how they built this dynasty and it, by the way they're not it's not trending down it's if anything they're right in the middle of it. Pass I, to Demonte Pete. I have my theory I'm sure you do everybody I, I, from what I've seen it's it's a, a combination of a bunch of things. Can't look, huh? Yeah, peek over his left shoulder. On fourth down pass in the traffic incomplete. Tried to deliver it, but broken up by Shaheem Carter. Mac Jones, the third quarterback, back in the ball game. Figures to do some handing off. This is Brian Robinson getting some touches, and they don't convert on the third and six. So here comes the punt team. So pencil that one out. I think it's going to be Wednesday night. D Mob yeah, directing? They, they, yeah, he will. Okay. Uh, right. will be there. I might come up. I didn't there. really expect to talk tennis here. And well, yeah, it's but an Alabama. Have some snacks for you. Pass. Flips it underneath. The Cardinals' offense is still playing, and this is the guy that you want to see run. This is Tutu Atwell. He's a speedster, and you know, like a lot of teams, has passed, fires to the end zone, and it's a touchdown caught by Averett over the middle, the tight end. Second touchdown. And this time, no spinning of the football. And look, he, he is intense. But he was trying to counter the negative recruiting by saying we also have some fun at Alabama. It's not all a grind. It's not all hard work. And that show did did kind of serve the purpose Saban was trying to get across that uh, you can have some fun there. But it's really about championships. Let's be honest. Yeah, they'll go out in the boat once in a while. He likes to try to wreck the guys when they're out there, <laughs> pulling them around. It takes pride. It's fun in that. for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, the tide rolled as Tungabailo was just absolutely superb when he was in there. I mean, almost unstoppable offense when number 13 was running the show. Let's get down to Maria with Coach Saban. All right, Coach, everyone had questions about who was going to start at quarterback when this game started. What answers did you have about your quarterbacks after watching both of them play tonight? Well, I still like both guys. I think both guys are good players. I think both guys can help our team. All right, so why do you continually try to get me to say something that doesn't respect one of them? I'm not going to, so quit asking. I hear you. Over 500 yards of total offense. What did you see from the entire unit then? Well, I, I thought we, when we executed and did what we were supposed to do, we played pretty well. We had way too many penalties in the game. I shot ourselves in the foot a bunch, made a lot of errors on defense. We got a lot of work to do for the challenges ahead. 